I don't know. I mean, maybe the vending machines fall on them while they're getting their change. <laughs> I, my point is, can't we build schools and protect wildlife at the same time? We must be able to do that. Well, we really got the, uh... He really was very sweet, Leo. Thank you. <laughs> Josh, we were looking for you. I'll be over there. Look at this, will you? You're what, sir? I don't know why, but nothing makes me feel quite so good as the sight of colleagues enjoying each other outside work. So what were you guys talking about? We were talking about these women. Yeah? We can't get over these women. And you see, James, she's like a 50s movie star. So capable, so loving and energetic. Look at Mandy over there. Going punch for punch with Toby in a world that tells women to sit down and shut up. Mandy's already won her battle with the president. The game's over. But she's not done. She wants Toby. Mrs. Lanningham. Did you guys know she lost two sons in Vietnam? What would make her want to serve her country is beyond me. But in 14 years, she's not missed a day's work, not one. As Kathy, Donna, and Margaret. Mr. President, there's something that's been bothering me for most of the day. And while I know this is an inappropriate time... Oh, what's on your mind, Josh? I serve at the pleasure of the president. And it's a great privilege that I will never forget. I can't keep this. I think it's a white flag of surrender. I want to be a comfort to my friends in tragedy, and I want to be able to celebrate with them in triumph. And for all the times in between, I just want to be able to look them in the eye. Leo, it's not for me. I want to be with my friends, my family, and these women. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Uh, Friends, please. Well, the chili's ready, and I hope you all enjoy it. In fact, since I told you you would enjoy it, I'm reasonably certain that you will. <laughs> you know, of course, the First Lady's in Pakistan. I'm not entirely sure why, but I have learned it's a pretty good idea not to ask my wife too many questions, as it seldom leads to anything but further confusion. I miss her very much, but I'm delighted our beautiful daughter Zoe is here. You know, she's starting Georgetown in the spring. This prior to medical school and a life of celibacy. <laughs> yeah, right. It's an incredible adventure you're starting on, sweetheart. An amazing four years full of people and experiences you haven't yet dreamed of. And if you will allow me just one minute of business, please. I hope that by the time we're done with our four years here, we'll have seen to it that every young person who chooses can go to college and beyond regardless of their economic status. Yeah. Understand that today was another one of Leo's big block of cheese days. <laughs> you all start out so cynical, but it never fails. By the end of the day, there's always one or two converts, right? And today was no exception. C.J. Craig is going to be up all night writing a position paper for the Interior <laughs> Department on the necessity of wildlife protection. C.J., I don't mind the cost of this wolves only highway. It's a segregation. The ACLU is going to file a petition on behalf of some reindeer, and then we're all screwed. Sam Seaborn had a guy who spotted a UFO today, am I right? And Sam laughed him out of his office, but you've been thinking about it ever since. But you can rest assured, Sam, it was not a spaceship from another planet, just another time. A long since abandoned Soviet satellite, one of its booster rockets didn't fire and it couldn't escape Earth's orbit. A sad reminder of a time when two powerful nations challenged each other and then boldly raced into outer space. What will be the next thing that challenges us, Toby? That makes us go farther and work harder. You know that when smallpox was eradicated, it was considered the single greatest humanitarian achievement of this century. Surely we can do it again, as we did in a time when our eyes looked towards the heavens. And with outstretched fingers, we touch the face of God. Here's to absent friends. And the ones that are here now. Cheers. Cheers.